Hello everyone, welcome back to another art time lapse. Today I am doing one of my last paintings for the year 2023 and it's a Studio Ghibli inspired fan art piece of Totoro. This piece is called Taste the Rainbow. Now I remember when I was a child that there is this I guess slogan from Skittle called Taste the Rainbow and I absolutely loved it and I love Skittles and candy and mostly anything sweet. Now that I'm a little bit older, I don't have as much of a sweet tooth as I previously did. But with that said, I do think that slogan kind of stuck with me and kind of brought on the inspiration for this piece. Here I'm starting off with a bowl that is like filled with clouds on the outside and inside are all these rainbows which is almost like noodles. I'm, well, I'm painting them kind of like noodles. And then you'll see Tortoro's kind of slurping on the noodles into his mouth. I love the concept behind it. I think it'll be really fun to paint. So let's see how this turns out. So for this piece, I already started off using my light blue and diluting it to stake out where the character and the bowl and the noodle is going to be. I let that layer dry and then now I'm adding on some darker colors and different shades of color. Now you can see me coloring in Totoro itself. The colors look a little bit dark now, but one thing to know about if you are painting with acrylic wash for the first time is that anything that is like dark color is going to dry and once it dries, it's going to be a little bit lighter. Anything light is going to dry a little bit darker. And you'll see that later on in the painting as the Totoro dries because it's going to dry a bit lighter and I have to go back and do another layer to make the colors a little bit more saturated. So when I paint, I usually like to go from lighter colors to darker colors. I think the reasoning behind that is because the darker colors usually will cover up the lighter colors, but you can't necessarily go using the lighter color to cover up the darker colors. It just doesn't work that way. So that's why you can see I started adding in yellow for the rainbow. And I'll continue adding some of the lighter colors like the pinks, the reds, and the orange before going to my darker blues. Having a more fine tip brush is very helpful for a painting such as this. You will have to remind yourself to get a new brush every now and then. I know, I know, as artists, a lot of times we just get used to our tools so we keep using it, but it's not until you kind of change up your brush every now and then that you notice how dull or maybe like how spread apart your brushes are. Although you can do regular maintenance for your brushes, you also will find that for some of your brushes that are a little bit more expensive, the brushes may last a little bit longer and also depending on the type of hairs on your brush some of them are more stiff some of them are softer in which case like that will also affect the longevity of your brush for me i paint every week so the longevity of the brush will also be affected by how often you paint and use it on average with me painting every week and using my finer brushes especially every week I think it's fair to say I need to change up my brush every six months or so, at least, to keep that fine tip and it makes such a difference. So here you can see I'm doing the red for the rainbow. For this painting, I certainly have to do a lot of planning because I'm thinking about like where to leave that white empty space, which colors to do first. So definitely <laughs> requires a lot of organization.
as I mentioned early on in the video, the darker colors will dry a little bit lighter and the lighter colors will dry a little bit darker. So you can see, for example, that the Tartaro itself is a little bit lighter than initially when the paint was wet. So that is a clear example of what I'm describing. Here I'm using white to kind of mark down where the eyes and the nose is going to be. I would love to hear if you guys have any suggestions for how to name this piece of artwork. Because right now I named it Taste the Rainbow, but I think there might be better ideas. Using my brush, I am now highlighting some of the rainbows, the bowl, and as well as the clouds. Retrospectively speaking though, I don't think I really love the clouds highlighted so I did go back over white and just kept it as it is. So here is the final product of Taste the Rainbow. Thank you so much for joining me on another art time lapse and hopefully I will see you in another video in the future. Take care and stay creative everyone. Bye for now.